Hi guys. For this week's meals, um, these are some pancakes that my brother made and I topped it with some honey and some blueberries. And this is some pasta that has some avocado and some spinach and some chickpeas. And these are some more pancakes that my younger brother made. And I've got some blueberries and honey on top. And I'm also having a couple of strawberries. And this is some more pasta. And this has some um, mango and some avocado and some spinach and chickpeas. And this is some homemade bread with some blueberry jam. And I'm also having some blueberries and a strawberry. These are some scrambled eggs with cheese and salt and pepper for, for garnish. And I'm also having some pears with some blueberries. And this is some mac and cheese that I grabbed from the break room because I didn't feel like bringing my lunch. And also a banana. And at work there was a Halloween potluck. And I, of course, brought the fruit. Um, <laughs> and also there's some mac and cheese and a cookie. And I also grabbed some chips, so a lot, lot, of, lot of variety. And one day this week, my boss took me out to lunch. So I chose Panera and I got some harvest squash soup and an apple and a grilled cheese sandwich. It was all very tasty. And these are some leftover decorations from, from Halloween. So now that the holiday's over, I thought it was time to, to enjoy some of that. So I roasted the, the squash and the pumpkins in, in the oven. Just a really easy way just to cook up some leftover um, decorations. And I'm starting on next year's Halloween outfit. And I thought it would be fun to do Holly Hobby. Um, when I was a child, um, I had Holly Hobby um, curtains and, and also a bedspread and I just love that character so much. So this is this is actually a multi-piece costume. It's got a a bonnet with it and a, an apron and a dress and some pantaloons. So there's a lot that goes into this costume so I imagine it'll take me several months but I'm looking forward to putting all the pieces together. So this is the fabric that I chose that's gonna be the, the bonnet and also the pantaloons. I thought that, that this um, particular fabric would be a really, um, really good, um, similar, <laughs> similar fabric to, to what, what I have in my brain for, for what Holly Hobby wore. And I just love all the tiny little flowers. So I will be starting off with the bonnet and the pantaloons. And my first challenge is this pattern is actually for a large and I needed it to be two, size, two sizes larger. So first challenge is um, adding on to the fabric and I'm starting off with just using some fabric weights and I'll put a link to that in the description. And um, then it's just measuring um, and just kind of drafting it on some shipping paper. So not, not too complicated, but it did take a lot of patience and a, a lot of me bending over the table. So, um, so I, think, I think this is gonna, this is gonna work out. I wish I would have been able to find a larger pattern, but I could not. So um, make do with what you have. So 
So that is it for this week. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing a whole lot of, lot of sewing. And I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time.